Today we're going to be uh, showing you how to polish out an old classic car. Um, I just picked up this 1969 Ford Fairlane. It has single stage paint. Uh, it was painted a few years ago and it still has the uh, buffer marks from when it was uh, cut and polished, cut and buffed. So I'm going to flip you around and show you those marks. So as you can see, all these swirl slash hologram marks and you can actually kind of tell it's just from the, the buffer just continually spinning and it was a dirty buffer so it leaves all these marks um, and it's all throughout the hood actually all throughout the whole car and you over this way Let's see on this panel here can see him. All right, so I'm gonna um, give the car a little wash. Uh, so it's an old old car, so it's not 100% watertight. So I'm going to use a uh, waterless application to clean it and clay it down, and then um, we'll go ahead and start polishing it. Um, I'll basically what I'll do is I'll do a 50/50 shot for you guys to show you what products I'm using and how it affects the paint, um, and then um, kind of do an overall overall just before and after. So stay tuned. So we're using a clay disc, synthetic clay disc instead of traditional clay. Mm -hmm. All right guys, so we got the car all clayed up. Um, so I taped off this little section here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with some uh, polish and um, test that. You always wanna go with the least aggressive uh, option you have first. That way you're not taking down uh, the paint any more than you need. So we're gonna start with polish, uh, do a pass, check that. If we need to go down to a compound, then we will. Um, but I think a polish with a, with a good pad um, should handle it. All right, so for our first pass, we're gonna be using a microfiber cutting disc slash polishing disc. It's actually more of a polishing disc because it's got a pretty thick backing on it and soft. And we're gonna be using 3D Products HD Speed, which is an all-in-one polish and protectant. Um, this is traditionally made for you know newer clear coats, but it works on, on the single stage stuff as well. So we're gonna run a pass with that and see how it looks. Um, for the towels, we're just using basic uh, Costco towels. Just rip the tag out to make sure it's all safe. All right, so we got that panel all polished and wiped down. I'm gonna pull the tape and see how it looks. Let's give a flashlight real quick for you. There you go, you can see the difference there. So that's the original, all the 
marring from a bad buff job. Come down to our line right there. So you can see it's right here where we taped off. So you had all that haze to clarity. Back to haze to clarity. Back to the sides. You can see that line again. Haze and clarity. All right, so after that test pass, we see that the HD speed worked very, very well with our uh, microfiber pad. And this is on a 15 inch uh, throw dual action polisher. So I'll, I'll link all this stuff in the video description below for you guys so you can see. This is actually a, an Amazon special. It's the Shine Master. This is their upgraded one. I should do a review on the original versus the upgraded. But um, basically, the basic difference is this has a progressive trigger. So you can just pull, run it slow. Which is a really nice feature. It's also got a uh, thousand or 1100 watt amp or watt uh, motor in it. It's a little more juicy, um, so but we'll do that later. So now I'm just going to go through, do the rest of the car, and then we'll get some shots all the way around it, and uh, so you can see the big difference. All right, guys. So I've done half the hood. We'll do a nice pan across so you can see the before and after. This is the side that has not been done. over the side that has been done. All right, got it all polished up. Uh, I'll flip the camera around, let you guys see the work. So you can see all the holograms and all those crazy buffer trails are all gone. This pillar here was really trashed. So all that's looking good. Same thing, the trunk was really trashed. You can see all the gloss on it now. Look at the reflection of the palm tree in it. 